and welcome. You are watching HSK Online. My name is Alex. And my name is Rachel. Today's theme is you've got to have faith. That's right. And we're going to kick off our service as we always do with worship. So why don't you stand to your feet, close your eyes, and I'm going to pray. God, thank you that you love us. Thank you for this service. Thank you that we can worship you. We sing these songs to you to give you praise. Amen. Amen. What it says to me it tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, He cares. When you see. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you see, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Oh, oh. I'm reading my BIB early, and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Out of doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, knock when you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you seek, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you seek, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door
hearts black and white Turns the color all around All this new in the Savior I have found See the sun now bursting through the clouds Black and white Turns the color all around All this new in the Savior I have found Oh, this is living Amazing, well done. Well, take a seat because we've got an action packed service for you. We've got Totally Awesome, we've got our Big Word Dance video, and <gasps> let's, let's get, get crafty. crafty. But first of all, we've got a story, so why don't you get comfortable? Here we go. Oh, yes, that's for it. Friendlings, you caught me reading my Bible again. <laughs> yes, you see, I am reading more about faith. The other day I was reading about it and I thought I must read some more. It's fantastic. You see, this story is about a very sick lady. Oh, she's very sick. <laughs> it goes a little something like this. <laughs> I am very sick. I have been bleeding for 12 years. If only I could touch Jesus, then I would be healed. <laughs> you see, she was very sick, yes. And she had so much faith in Jesus. She knew that if she just touched him well, like this on his cloak, she would be okay. Hmm. Did she do it? Didn't she do it? Let's see. <coughs> I need to touch the cloak and I will be healed. Big faith. In the Bible, there's a story where Jesus is amongst a big crowd and a man called Jairus comes to him, goes to his knees and says, please, you must help me. My daughter is sick and she's dying. And Jesus says, take me to her. 
And as he's on his way through the crowd, a lady who has had an issue of bleeding for 12 years touches the back of Jesus' cloak. Immediately, Jesus feels this, this power go out of him. And he says, who touched me? His disciples said, Jesus, everybody's touching you. There's a huge crowd. And he says, no, somebody touched me. And at that point, the lady came in front of him and said, it was me. Jesus said, your faith has healed you. The lady knew all she had to do was touch Jesus' cloak and then she would be healed. And at that point, the bleeding stopped and she was completely healed. Somebody from Jairus' house came to Jairus and Jesus and said, I'm sorry, you're too late. Your daughter has died. Everybody was upset, but Jesus said, don't worry, take me to your daughter. And as he went to the house where the daughter was, everybody was in mourning, everybody was upset, crying. The funeral has started. But Jesus said, it's okay. She's just asleep. And Jesus went into the young girl's room where she was laying and he said, wake up. And then the young girl sat up and she was alive. Jesus brought healing. Jesus rose her from the dead because they had trust, which led to big faith. You can have a big faith by putting your trust in God. Sometimes bad things may happen, but God has got a plan for you and we just need faith to get us through. So as we put more of our trust in God, we will have a much bigger faith. In Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6 says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, remember Him. Then He will make your path smooth and straight. God has got a plan for your life. And I wonder, will you put your trust and your faith in Him? The plan is going to be big. The plan is going to be great. Big trust, big faith. Stand up on your feet, everybody, because we have got a brand new Big Word dance video. Woo! Romans 5, verse 1 and 2. Since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, with God and through our Lord Jesus Christ and through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand Romans 5 verse 1 and 2 since we have been justified through faith we have peace with God You know what time it is. I do know what time it is. Totally awesome! Hi and welcome to another Totally Awesome! I am so excited to meet today's guest. Can't wait to find out who it is. Hi, my name is Natasha and I'm 13 years old. So what inspired you to start dancing and acting? first inspired me to dance was ballet and stagecoach and then it was definitely movies i loved watching dance movies and then it was family and friends that just pushed me that further to do it in amp acting i always did it in school i love acting and i guess when i found out that it was something to do in amplified i just took it and i loved it what do you love the most about acting and dancing? I love how dance is a way to express yourself without the pressure of using words. And I love how 
well it's fun and i love how the community is so different and how people come together with the same interests and just create a great community acting i love how you can use your imagination to be someone else how you can just go that further mile and use your creative mind just to create a whole nother person so how have you become so good and how do you stay disciplined when it comes to practicing how i became good i would say practice practice definitely practice like doing it over and over again but also confidence telling yourself that you can do this um practice it was just staying obedient and determined and just jumping over those hurdles no matter how big they were Okay, Natasha, we would love to see some of your dancing. Have you got a clip you could show us? That was brilliant. Okay, Natasha, before you go, can you give us any advice for anyone else who wants to start acting or dancing? I would say if it's your passion, go for it. Because you can't fail at something that you love so much. So if you really love dancing or if you really love acting, then I say go for it. And be confident while you're doing it as well. Thank you, Joanna. Oh, thanks for being with us, Natasha. That was totally awesome. Now, if anybody else would like to send us a video or a picture of what you've been up to, we would love to hear about it. So please get in touch. Until then, see you next time. We're going to Dawn's house in Liverpool for Let's Get, get Crafty. Hey HSK, so today we've been hearing about a big God and big faith and today we're going to make something that we can keep in our room or somewhere in our home that can remind us of a big God and big faith that we can have. Today we're going to make a big shield of big faith. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so to make our big shield of big faith what we need is some cardboard, whatever size you want. I'm using an old box. But before we design it, maybe get a piece of paper and a pen and decide how you want to design your shield. So if you draw the shape that you want first and then the design. So we're going to put faith. So the letter I is going to be in the middle of your shield. Can you see? and then you know that you've got the same amount of letters on both sides and then the T we're going to make into the shape of a cross and then we need to make sure that we draw a little border around it and then just draw the shapes that you want so if you design it first then it makes it that little bit easier when we're drawing it on the big thing okay once You've got your design, maybe get some chalk or a crayon, get your card and draw your design. Okay, when you've decided how big you want it, you need to cut it out. And when you've cut it out, you're going to be left, get rid of this one, ooh, ooh, with a shape like this. And then all we need to do is to put our design onto the big card. So with your chalk or your crayon, you want to draw a border around the edge, because this is where we'll make it gold, or if you've got gold paint or silver paint, if you don't, Maybe you can use glue and get some foil and you can stick that on around the edge. That's if that's what you want to do, if that's your design. 
and then so once you've done that then we need to do the letters the word faith okay so put the i in the middle like so maybe draw a, a really faint line so you can see where the rest of your letters are going to go so your letter f your letter a we've done the i and then the t remember we're going to make it into a cross shape t and this is going to be bigger than all the other letters and then you want to draw your h and when you're happy with your design then what we're going to do are draw the lines because we're going to create this pattern or you can just paint it plain up to you if you're going to do the lines just draw them really anywhere random they can go all the way across because they're just going to give us our shapes of color and then when we've done that what we then need to do is to go around them in black okay and then it should look something like this doesn't matter if you can see all the other lines because it rubs off or we're going to paint over them so once you've painted all your lines and your letters in black again doesn't matter if your letters are going to be a little bit scruffy should i say because we're going to use glitter but if you're not going to use glitter you're going to use paint then take more time to paint your letters Okay, so once all your paint is dry, let's put the glue onto our letters and I've put some on the cross because I wasn't particularly happy with the gold paint. So I've added some gold glitter onto there and now the last letter, I need to add some red. Okay, and before I probably should say before you do this, make sure we've got something covering the tables because we don't want glitter over the carpet or the table, wherever you want. We've come to the end of our service, but we've had so much fun. We want to see pictures of your crafts. So at Hillsong Kids UK, and don't forget to download the Hillsong Kids app. Now, before we go, I'm going to pray for you at home. So let's close our eyes really tight. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us. I pray that we have an amazing week and a really fun summer holiday. Amen! Amen.